Re-entry into normal life after prison time is proving to be more difficult after the pandemic. For the first time ever, the City of Austin's Equity Office is giving $400,000 in grants to help re-entry programs address systemic barriers in employment, housing, and health care. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders explains. Laquita Garcia's road to prison reform advocacy started in 2013 after she was incarcerated for 11 years. I've been um, free of all charges for nine years now, and it's still a reincurring issue. Employment is a huge barrier. Um, housing is a huge barrier. The reentry program helped her get her first job out of prison so she could provide for her family. Because that program no longer exists, those opportunities aren't available to people. You're released from incarceration and set free to do things on your own, and it's really extremely hard to do. So. Lack of funding for those programs can prevent people with criminal records from getting help with jobs, housing, and even getting ID cards. The City of Austin's Equity Office has identified those gaps and will distribute grants for reentry programs. To deal with the unique kind of mental health challenges that come with the trauma of incarceration, of trying to come back into like a regular nine to five job. Which can help initiatives like the Returning Citizens Advancement Program launched by the Austin Area Urban League during the pandemic. They say cash isn't the only answer. It's also opportunities in housing and the workforce. If we can meet those two barriers and defeat those two challenges for these brothers and sisters coming out, that's almost 50 to 60 percent of success for them right there. Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. The city of Austin is accepting grant applications through July 23rd and will select organizations by September. The funding will be distributed to programs that provide everything from housing placement to mental and physical care. Returning to society has been challenging for those who are incarcerated, especially for people of color. That's because of legal barriers, stigmas and low wages. According to data cited by the Brookings Institution, more than half of the formerly incarcerated are unable to find stable jobs within their first year of return. Three-fourths of those are arrested within three years of their release. Brookings' short-term recommendations include using COVID-19 relief money to address barriers and expand access to the Internet and digital skills for those looking for work.